Hey everybody, it is I, Super Paul Games. Welcome to Game 6 of the National League Championship Series. If we lose, we are done. Rangers have advanced to the World Series. So either us or the Braves will be facing the World Series. We gotta win two straight to get to the World Series. More importantly, we gotta win one to stay alive. If we lose, we're done. I never want to play the Braves again. We have had the most difficult time with them. They have just destroyed our bullpen. If this is like the other games, we will see one or two home runs hit over Tug Dick's head. I hope it's not that way. I hope we shut them down. And tie it up. Again, everybody, Matt Vash. Ooh, and welcoming you to our What's this? Ooh, I'm peeking in on a game. I see you, dirty people. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak. And Dan, obviously, a lot of things still up in the air as we get ready for game six. Yeah, you see the results through the first five games. It's been everything we could have hoped for. And now, at three games to two, you've got a team coming in here that needs to That win game we lost 11 to 9, so frustrating. We were up on that game at 1.9. We had nine and they had, I don't know, five or something. Then we got to a point we were up by, what was it, like two runs or something? One out to go in the bottom of the ninth and then our bullpen blew it. Just, oh. Postseason is now. Back now as we draw ever the other thing is, like, all season long, our offense, well, most of the season long, our offense has been very good at scoring. Number one offense by far, scored... I don't know, close to 100 more runs than the, like the next highest scoring team in the American League. We have not seen that as a team here in the uh, postseason. Tug Dick's been playing amazing here in the championship series. But the team as a whole, not so much. Postseason's been doing good, I think. Why do they show that? Why don't they show stats? This isn't a boxing match. We don't need to know height or weight. It's not a way off. Whoever weighs more wins. Get them fatties out there. Giants line up in this one. Zero, how do they fight off elimination here on the road? Matthew, you see Tug Dick, second best batting myself. average back to my play here in the postseason. I, I had the ace on the mound. It had to be wind day, and when you get in the car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressures on the We rocked him last time, but he is a good pitcher. Does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. Let's go Giants. All right, the Atlanta Braves attack you on defense this way. Yeah, they got a great defense right there. Plus, they got some good hitters. Freddie Freeman was great in the regular season. He's been great in the postseason. Look at that. Tug Dick hitting 500 in the championship series. 300-something in the uh, postseason as a whole this year. Hunter Pence on deck. We're up by two runs. That's the way to start it. Top of the first one out. The first pitch. Here it comes. To third. Oh, shit. I think I can get the force out. They do. I like that two-run lead. Because the honest, honestly, in the championship series, Tug Dick has been carrying this team. It's time for the team to start contributing. <laughs> oh, we're up 3-0. Runner on first. Top of the third. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, man. Got under that. Tug Dick's shit in the bed now. If we win, that's okay. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So with two gone now, here's a look at our playoff brackets. And our winner here will take on the American League champion, Texas Rangers. And congratulations to them on their great victory in the ALCS. Hopefully that will be us. We got to win two straight. The Murphs are at the plate. Murph of the Murph Tones. Oh, they got runners on the corners. One out. The price score run here. We're up 3-0. Oh shit, no one's gonna get that. Sprinting after it, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grab. It's only a two-run lead now. Atlanta, stop that! It's now a three-to-one ball game. Why can't you be the Atlanta cowards? We tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught way too much of the plate. Nice execution by the hitter. Tug Dick 0 for 2. Tied ball game. Oh, shit. Top of the fifth. Two outs. 
way in front of a great slider that time. Fly ball out toward left. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's going to catch that. Giving chase. Yeah, that thing just stayed up there. It would not come down. It was sightseeing. We're down by a run. Bases loaded. Top of the seventh. One out. Come on, Tug Dick. There we go. Get those runs in. No, you fuck face. And he'll pull into second with one away. We could have had another run. Tug Dick was on his way to third, but the guy in third, obviously, um, Mr. Fuckface, did not go. Huge face hit. What a momentum swing. What an AB right there. Now you got to grab your leather and go out and flash some D for the boys. Flash your D for the boys? What? You? Hey, boys, check this out. You got this. Let's go. Let's go. Hunter Pence. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. I honestly think the guy in third probably could have scored. He didn't want to go, though. It might have been Pence. Not Pence. It might have been Posey. Posey's a little slower. Crawford coming up to the plate. Come on, Crawford. So bases are loaded. Nowhere to put him with one Yeah, that is Posey on third. Maybe that's why he didn't go. Shortstop Brandon Crawford. In there, strike one. Come on, Crawford. We only have one run lead. We have left way too many guys stranded here in the postseason. Good job to give himself. Get a hit. Let's get some insurance runs, yo. Come on, big dog. Get your pitch. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Wrong way. Damn it. Two strikes already to Crawford. Nobody's going. Yeah, there's no way. I told you they wouldn't even even been able to get home on that. No way Posey was going to. One ball, two strikes to Crawford. The one, two. Very weakly on the ground. That goes foul, so he stays alive. Come on, you can be a postseason hero, Crawford. Just get it into the outfield. First, one gone. Swing and a fly ball, but shallow. That's not going to do it. Murphy backs up and takes and by the outfield I didn't mean like literally right on the outfield grass frustrating not what you want to do with the bases come on Jose a simple pop he's doing good what, what was that two doubles I think it said looking to keep this one run game the pitch hit on the ground toward the left beat it out Jose yes that brings in a run good job by Jose we're up by two the bases will be loaded Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a rip. Judging by our bullpen in the series, we need it, it 22 does, insurance sure runs. Out there with a little bit more free and I'm being a little overly line. conservative, I guess. Come on, Santana. Every pitch is so Santana. One pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. Here we go. This is you, baby. Base is loaded still. Two outs. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Uh, strike one. Slider right over the middle, taken for a strike. Hey, come on now, big dog. Get your pitch. Oh, <laughs> quickly down two strikes. Come on, dude. All right, come on now. One time, let it fly. Let's get some more of these runs in. And the inning goes away. No. And swing and a miss. We do have a two-run lead. Swing and a miss at a ball way outside. Our bullpen's got to come through. So we want to win this. Inning, Bottom of the seventh coming up. Worse is they wind up leaving the bases loaded. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. Apparently both San sides have committed in the error. Seven to five. Tug Dick, one for four with a double, a couple RBIs. Ooh, we have a three-run lead. Top of the ninth, no outs. Leading off the ninth. I think I could play that. It seems like a pretty simple thing to play. Shot to third. There we go. Dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. All right, Tugdick is on. Hey, this looks like it could be a potential add-on inning here in the ninth. 
add on, give some breathing room to their pitcher going into the bottom of the inning, D-Row. Yeah, you love when the offense stays aggressive. Why does he say that way? Really you love it, don't you? I hate when people tell me what I love. I know what I love. It's like when you're a kid and your parents are like, you like this. I don't even like that. It's my brother who liked that. Do you even know us? <laughs> Can you tell us apart? Ah, shit balls. Throw him back over here to first. Probably anybody who has a sibling can relate to what I just said. That or just my parents weren't very attentive. Doug Dick's going. He's running. Pitches a cold strike. Safe. He's in there. He's gonna go for third too. I want all the insurance runs. Treat the postseason as a time to be aggressive, and that's exactly the case here. They had the speed burner on the move, and it worked out nicely for him. Just got to drive him in now. What you looking at? Look away. He's like, I look where I want. All right, then I'll steal when I want, which is right now. There we go. And it skips in as he steals the. All right, we got the insurance oh, potential insurance run over the third. Get lead like that, especially knowing that the guy behind the plate isn't known for his arm here he swipes third and they just kind of gave it to him and this oh. is and missed and boy they took damn it a key man there that's so anticlimactic right there steal a base steal another base strike three start working that's all right we only have one out hopefully the next guy up can get a base hit or hit it on the ground you know get a sacrifice or in the air Bring in the run. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. As the first pitch to him runs. Mon Wolverine. Ball one. Clutch up and drop him in right here. Here you go. Grounded up the first baseline. Oh, that is no good. Foul ball. One and one. You think we could actually win this thing? That'd be so cool if we could force a game seven. That was not cool, though. One ball and two strikes. Big old swing and a miss. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. What kind of sequence? It's going to be dazzling. That was a bad swing. He was way out ahead of that. That's the third Crawford's time in this is. game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. I don't know who's up now. Second baseman, Jose. Standing in now. All right, Ramirez. And a first pitch swing. That is not going to help. Well, we got a three-run lead. We need three outs, and we got to pray to God the bullpen does not poop the proverbial bed. Is that in the Bible, the proverb of the poop bed? I don't think so, but I can't guarantee it. Quickly, to our Bibles! <laughs> we won! Oh my God. We force a game seven. Wow, we are down three games to one. We are tied at three games apiece. Next game is, well, every game has been do or die for us of late. But at least the next game is do or die for us or the Braves. Braves not happy having lost two straight. I'm more than happy. I can't believe the team actually came through and played well. There were times this game and last game where I was like, oh, that's going to be it. We won eight, and look at that. Bullpen still gave up a run at the end. Buster Posey, top hitter. He's got to be our player of the game. Come on, yeah, honor the Posey. It is so nice to have him back after how much time he missed during the regular season. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And there's no 
no better time of year to come You're the man, the Posey. Than in the postseason, and that's exactly what Tug Tug and Buster Posey have been doing very game. good this postseason. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. Hopefully not. Well, everybody, I'll see you next time when the huge Game 7 of the Mer National League, sorry, National League Championship Series happens. Next game will decide who goes on to the series and who goes home to cry. Here tonight, for my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, and the entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody. Good night.